Virgo, hi. So this is going to be a reading from May 16th through the 22nd. And I'll uh, take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check out all the info about that in the description box below if you want. Now well, let's see, Virgo. <clears throat> okay. The uh, overall energy for the reading, the Page of Wands. I kind of get this as a, um, a sense of curiosity, a sense of openness overall, you know, uh, playfulness maybe. There's definitely good energies at stake here for now. In the recent past, the King of Swords, the Six of Cups, the Fool. It's one of those, I see it, I gotta get it, I'm going for it kind of an energy. There's a soul connection that's shown up here. And there's you possibly in that mindset of, yeah, this is mine. Um, hmm, interesting, interesting kind of determined energy. In the current situation, the Ace of Cups, the Knight of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles. There's love here. There's also a sense of independence through this love, which is beautiful. Uh, it's, it's, that kind where you're giving from a place of um, not expecting anything in return. Just giving because you want to give, you know, and there's love here. So I kind of get the sense that this is coming from you. I kind of get the sense that this is coming from someone attached to you as well. So it's the both of you that are in this flow of love, basically, and keeping that sense of independence through it. Um, now, in the immediate future, the Six of Swords, the Page of Swords, the Seven of Swords, someone's getting lazy. Uh, not lazy in the, oh, I got lazy and I don't want to move anymore. But there's definitely a sense of giving until it just stops. And it's like, eh, I'm not in the mood today. I like, mm, eh, mm. And the energies are going away. It's like, where is it? It's not there because I'm not in the mood today. Not today, you know? Uh, so I don't know what the hell this is. There's definitely a backing away, a pulling away from all of this love that's showing up right now. And there is a little something there, but it's not enough to bring out the love. So I don't know what the hell is going on here. But anyways, let's clarify. Let me clarify the page of wands. The Ace of Wands, the Ten of Wands, the King of Cups. There's still, I mean, yeah, it's that sense of curiosity and it's that sense of openness and it's that sense of staying open through your fear. You know, let me stay open even though I'm scared that I'm going to lose whatever or that I'm, even if I stay open, they're going to reject me, you know. Um, that is still happening. The openness is still here. The love is still here. The heart being open is still here. Even if there's this, this fear of rejection or whatever that fear is. So we all have it, you know, those fears, we all carry them. Uh, it's a matter of, do you choose to keep yourself open and vulnerable through them or do you shut down? which one's going to feel nicer, you know, uh, or more aligned with you. They're both going to be uncomfortable, but which one is it going to feel more aligned with you? Um, mm -mm -mm. Let me see this uh, Six of Cups in the recent past, the Chariot, the Hermit, the Nine of Cups, same kind of energy uh that i've seen for you in the past there there's that's definitely you with the hermit showing up it's that sense of whenever you felt this connection to someone a, a soul connection there has shown up but i feel like it's not particularly tied up to one situation 
I feel like it's whenever you saw something that was resonating for you, it's like, mind go away, you're my worst enemy, move out of the way. Everything and everyone move out of the way because I'm going to go get me this. And you did. By the looks of it, you did. And again, I don't see it as a one-time situation. I see it as you, your true self coming to the surface and being like, move. I got to move towards this, you know? So it's kind of an interesting energy and very aligned with how you really feel, how you really felt and how you really feel when something opens up that interests you. Um, let's go to the current situation, to the Ace of Cups. I have a feeling the, the, the past is going to show me the same thing over and over again. For the Ace of Cups, you get the Seven of Swords, the Ten of Cups, the Eight of Wands. What is this energy? Because I saw it with you. I saw it with you for, for a while. I've been seeing it there. It's Happiness is here, right? There's happiness. And it's like, well, and, and I, it's such, mm, such a contradiction to the past energy. That's the thing. I'm not going to say procrastination because it's not that, but it's like relaxing, relaxing a little too much. Because, uh, well, I got my goal. I got what I wanted. Look at my energy as I was going towards it, but I got it. Nothing to work for anymore. Just going to lay back, relax, because I got it. It's fine. So who's going to work for it to sustain it? Okay, you got it. What now? You know? What is this energy in you here again? Because you know there's work to be done for this to be sustained, for this to, to keep on working. But if, as soon as it comes together and as soon as it's going out fine, what do you mean? I have to, I have to put more energy in it? Why? I already got it. Ironically enough, there is an energy that sustains this. There is that energy of things are working out because they're working out. You know, sometimes, yeah, that happens. But I wonder for how long, because at some point, someone has to pump that juice in this thing, you know? It's going to run out of its own juice. Man, let's <laughs> do the Knight of Cups. Uh, and because it looks good and because it runs on its own juice, of course you're gonna, you know, get comfortable and be like, eh, it's working out. What are you talking about? Smooth. Okay. Let's do the Knight of Cups. Three of Swords, Knight of Swords, King of Swords. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. There's that Virgo from the past coming back because something's looking not great. You know, when the, ju when the juice runs out, it's like, oh, shit. Now things hurt, and now things, you know, because uh, we didn't do the work when we were supposed to, now it's hurting. Now it's starting to, uh, the, the rusty part of what the juice left behind, eh, not feeling that great. Man, where the hell do I come up with these analogies? Anyways, um, and that's when the, that Virgo right there comes back to play, right? That determined, that... I'm seeing it, I'm going after it, it's mine. That's a whole lot of energy and a whole lot of courage and a whole lot of determination. Uh, but apparently it needs, this situation needs to go back to, it doesn't feel good for you to bring that juice over, juice again. Do I want juice? Do I have juice? I think I have juice. Uh, for you to bring yourself back to the table, you know? Hmm. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. You're getting a little comfortable at times. That's the thing. And it's not you, it's human nature. We all do it. Uh, it's a matter of catching it, you know? And just kind of try to figure out what the hell is it doing there. Because if you catch it and if you work with it, it's going to prevent this freaking pain to come to the surface. And then you're like, oh, wait a minute. 
I do have to put in a little more energy here. Even though it looks like it's running, everything's fine. It still needs my energy. It still needs that backup battery, you know? For the Nine of Pentacles in the current situation, the Strength card, the Four of Wands, the Five of Cups. There is a partnership, a marriage, possibly a commitment here. And um, it does look like it's running on its own. It's, it has its own wheels, its own juice, its own whatever you want to call it. But there's been something damaged here. There's been those gaps of time where neither you, maybe them too, I don't know, maybe the both of you, didn't put in any effort because, you know, it's going to work on its own. It's, it's okay. We don't need to participate in this. Yeah, but it's you too. It's your energy. It's their energy put together. That's what keeps this running. If you don't put it, then they don't put it. What the hell is happening here? So there's been something damaged here. And I feel like it's just being recognized. And it leaves some marks. It leaves some pain. Uh, let's do the Six of Swords in the um, immediate future. The Hierophant, the Five of Swords, the Empress. Virgo, I need to talk to you personally, because what the hell is this? Well, when these energies kind of come hit you in the face with Virgo, what have you been doing? Have you been participating in this? When, how long, how much, you know, or did you just kind of let it run on its own, even though you're a part of it? Uh, the minute it hits you in that place of, wait a minute, this relationship is a little damaged here. There's something that happened here and it broke it. Okay, well, let's give up on it. I want out. Now, I would agree with that completely if you wouldn't have shown me the Five of Swords here. But that's where I'm like, I'm like really? That's your solution? Because you're lying here. You know, there's, it's, it's that whole sense of, well, it didn't work out. I'm just going to, because then you're showing me a little bit of a pattern, a little bit of, I really, really want this. Let me go get it. The minute you get it, it's like, I got it. I don't need to work for it anymore. And then it's like, well, it expired anyway, so I'm going to go. And you're not believable in this energy because of this five of swords. If this weren't here, I would be like, okay, we're going do your thing. You know what you're doing. I don't believe you though. You know, so you have the tendency to just drop it because it's it's damaged. I don't care for it. Not realizing that what's damaged is the energy you put in there or didn't. And again, that connection, that relationship is formed by two energies coming together. So you can't say it's damaged and as if it's not yours, because it is. It's part of you. You put something in there, you know? So what part of you damaged that? Let's go into ourselves and look at that part of us that's damaged, that created something damaged, right? Um, for the Page of Swords in the immediate future, you get the Page of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords, the Two of Swords. Interesting, because this is exactly what you want to do. You know, you want to look in that direction. You want to look at what damaged this to see where the damage is exactly inside of you. And But you're confused as hell about it. You're like, I don't know. My intention is here. Yes, I want to work with this. I want to learn. I want to see what the hell happened here. I don't know what to do. I have no idea. Because you're looking for that damage part from your mind. And I can assure you, your mind is what damaged everything to begin with. Damage the damage. <laughs> you know, uh, not now, possibly a while ago when it formed all sorts of restrictions and limited beliefs and all sorts of things. <clears throat> Let's do the Seven of Swords in the um, immediate future. 
The Four of Swords, the Devil, the Six of Pentacles. All right, so you're showing me a sense of, you know what, this time around, I want to do it different, which is quite interesting because a lot of people are kind of doing the same things and expecting different results. You're showing me, I want to try something different. You're showing me, I want to heal this tendency of mine to leave when things get damaged. Uh, and I want to heal and I want to see where that damage is, you know? And I want to balance it out. I want to fix it. But again, really show me the intention to go within yourself to look for what creates that energy that you put in these situations. Um, again, it's half half. It's not only you, you know, we're all damaged. So we're all bringing our baggage and then there's a mix of mine and yours. And, uh, blah, blah, poof. So, but it's our individual responsibility to work with ours. And then that will kind of force the other energy we're dealing with to work with theirs. Because they got nothing bouncing off of ours. So it's like, well, either work with your shit or go. Because, you know, so that's kind of how it usually works. But I love your reaction to this because it's very different than... Um, in this reading, you basically showed me a pattern. And at the end of the reading, you're basically showing me that you're going to deal with it in a different way, which in itself is going to change the pattern. So that's great. Let's see what the um, universe has to close it off. The chariot, the six of wands, the death card. Yeah. Yeah, you're ending a pattern and um, you're showing up in, in this energy very, very different in this newfound energy, you know, with a new sense of sharing your energy, which kind of makes sense. Because if you think about it, you share your energy in the beginning, you blessed it all out so that you get what you want. When you got what you wanted, you're like, eh, whatever. Yeah, I got it. And then kind of like, eh, I'm bored. Bye. You're showing up in a very different, continuous giving in energy. And it feels good. It feels very different, very well better by the looks of it, you know? So ending all patterns here for you. You're in the middle of ending this old pattern. So great. That's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time.